It's a beautiful spring day on Catacrom for Juanita as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle board. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing... upgrades your dread zone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Have you ever seen the Diablo in the pale moonlight? I have and it's fantastic! This guy should have his own fitness machine, his own shoes, his own fat-burning barbecue! Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacomb Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armor tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. I've upgraded your bot to turn... Oh, this is more fun than a busload of cheerleaders! thought Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! to get a better view of the area. Ah, come on, I smell the damn bush. Team 
Rock Star is in rare form tonight. According to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. One of your combat bots is incapacitated. Use the revive command to bring him back to life. Vox has designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. Ratchet, I am detecting a swing shot orb ahead. Jump towards it and hold down the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. You know, folks, Ratchet has found the Landstalker! This all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo size drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. Security, you're parked in my space! 
Team Darkstar is breaking this place apart. Ratchet is on a rampage with the Landstalker. Oh, I can't imagine the damage Bill Dread Zone is going to get for this. Loving this carnage, folks. But it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. They're coming up from the ground! Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. a new alpha modification slot for you to use. Zombie, dead hand! Oh, <laughs> no pun intended, sir. I think explosions are pretty. Excellent work, Ratchet. I must admit, I was worried. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. <laughs> <laughs>